Hi guys, in today's video I am going to be showing you everything about the mining, the craze caverns that is in Overlook Bay. And mining was actually added to the Halloween update and I thought I would do like a separate video talking about mining because there's a few things in it that I feel like people don't really know just yet. Um, they just come in here to check it out and mine a little bit. They go back outside to hunt ghosts and stuff, but I really wanted to do a separate video on this because look how beautifully designed this part of the map is so for those of you who don't know these are the diamonds right here that you have to mine and if you're curious on where to find your mining tools they will be located in your backpack and in this little tools section you will find a pickaxe so all you have to do is really just click the diamond and it's the same for um, mobile and PC for PC you just click and then for mobile you just tap like your screen where the um, diamond is and that is basically how you mine so after you mine a diamond there's this little part that falls off and it is the diamond that you get um, I briefly went over this in my Halloween update video but I want to tell you guys again that when you guys mine and you guys pick up those diamonds you can actually sell them in this little shop right here it is called the crystal cavity and then over here is where all the mining passes are so for example as you can see I am a level 25 miner and basically the more you mine crystals the higher levels will get and once your levels start getting higher it takes a little bit longer for the levels to fill up if that makes sense so if you go in here this is basically um, all of the level rewards so when you become a level 25 you get a thousand gems which i actually did get i didn't know why i got it i just got it but it's so cool so when you're level five you get 250 level 10 you get a pet ticket and then so on and as you can see when you become a level 50 you get this really cool pickaxe right here and i'm actually not really sure what this is right here i think it might be a badge or something but yeah you get pet tickets you get more gems a cool pickaxe and a badge for mining a lot of um crystals and stuff like that so this is where you sell the crystals and as you can see they all have like different currencies it's kind of like fishing in a way when you get more uncommon like more rare fish the more expensive it is going to be for you to sell it so for the crystals it's this little heart shaped one and it's super cute so let's go ahead and sell them so this is kathy crystal and i actually like read this in my other video it's kind of funny because she says underlook bay and this game is called overlook bay so basically we are underground so underlook bay i don't know i i thought it was a really funny um joke but we can sell we can shop and we can say bye but first of all i want to show you guys how you can sell so basically to sell diamonds you pretty much just have to go up to her press the e and press sell and then also when you get to this screen you just press sell items and all you have to do is click on the diamonds that you want to sell i've been kind of mining for a while so that's why i have a few of those and then after that she'll tell you how much you'll make and oh my gosh wow that is a lot that is a lot so i made 380 souls and not a lot of people know what souls is so basically with this new halloween update um there is a new halloween currency which is this purple um coin thing right here this is the halloween currency and they are called souls so you probably see that around the map when you play more and more um let's go ahead and check out some of the items that you can buy because i actually have not checked that out just yet i think you might be able to buy pickaxe yeah so you, this one i just have the regular pickaxe i actually have not bought any of these and if, i think if you were to buy one of these they're just like the regular currency okay so that's pretty cool so we have the pretty pink pickaxe we have the magma pickaxe Oh, look at that, guys. So you have different luck levels and there's different hits. So the more expensive pickaxe you have, the less hits you have to do. I think the one I have is like eight hits or something and you have like a higher luck level. So, for example, you probably have a higher luck of getting more um, rare gems like the heart gem. And I kind of want to buy one. I'm actually not really sure. I really want to buy this Rima Chroma pickaxe. So <laughs> let's go ahead and buy it. And luckily it is just the regular gems, which I'm fine with using. I actually have not done anything for the regular gems just yet. I haven't built anything. I haven't bought anything. I actually haven't sold anything for those. So I'm just, I've just been really focusing on the Halloween ones. So I'm just going to buy this and I really want to test this out and see, um, what kind of stuff we can get with this pickaxe. 
and this one's probably like really rare like obviously you can't buy that one but i think with that one you get even more which is that so let's take it out and see oh my gosh look how cute it is it is a rainbow pickaxe that's adorable okay so let's go to one of these crystals over here and let's see how many hits that it takes so oh my gosh yeah yeah four hits is all you need really to destroy one of these crystals whereas if you were to go for the other one it would take longer and more hits so i think it's really worth the investment to buy a better pickaxe and this is kind of where you get to see how many gems i don't know why i say gems crystals gems diamonds i don't know let's go with crystals okay so this is total crystals mined and as you can see there's a lot of people who've been like really grinding and like mining crystals as you can see um i don't know if this is like a contest or something going on. i just think that people really want to be high on leaderboard if they weren't able to during the fishing event but as you can see i only mine 610 and i actually did not know you can um get better crystals with a better pickaxe um i've been using just this regular basic one that was like default and stuff so i'm really happy that i was able to buy a new one because this will make it easier to get more souls and stuff like that as well as mine better crystals i honestly think that this is a really great feature that they've added to the game and i definitely think that this is something that they should keep oh my gosh where'd it go <gasps> okay so look it's a star oh my gosh we have a star so that is one of the more rare crystals as you can see and I really think that they should keep this in the game after the Halloween event because this definitely does add more of like work stuff. So in Overlook Bay, you can make regular gems right here. This is like the regular currency money. You can make gems by fishing and selling like seashells. And I think there's more. I, I cannot think of all of it in the moment. So I will leave like a video in the cards in the corner where I did a video talking about like easy ways to make money in Overlook Bay. So definitely check that out if you want to know more on how to become rich and make more money in overlook bay this is just one of the few ways that you can make halloween money for right now i'm sure once the halloween update is gone i think this will probably convert to regular currency but if we go over here there's like a little elevator which is pretty cool we can't go in it but i think they might add something maybe they might add another level of mining who knows honestly i think there's so many cool things that they can do with this um feature in the game also guys there is actually a secret entrance to this mining um place the common entrance is like over here so if you go to like the halloween update um there's like the little mining caverns thing in the halloween section of the game but if we go all the way up here there's actually a secret mining entrance that i feel like not a lot of people know about and i'm going to show you guys where it takes you so this is kind of like a place where people won't know i don't think anyone really goes up here so if you go up here there's like more crystals for you to mine and the funny thing is i actually saw a ghost in here like the ones that you can catch with the cannon thingy emo bobbers i'll show you guys that after showing you guys this uh, mining entrance but this one's called the overlook tunnel so if we go this way we end up in this tunnel i guess you can say like crazy caverns tunnel and before this halloween update was here they actually just had like a random door right here that was kind of like blocked off but this is basically kind of like the freeway i guess you can say of overlook bay as you can see so i'm gonna go back in here and i really want to show you guys the cannons they recently tweeted on twitter that the better cannon you have the more ghosts you will catch so this one this is the common um ghost cannon that everybody has it's like the default the default version i think it's super cool looking with its little glowiness i think that's cool if you guys go to the evil witch's lair which is that little building in the halloween update you can actually buy more cannons and this one is the cheapest one that you can buy which is a step above the regular cannon the default one and this one is so cute look you can't really see it because my hair but it is like a little witch house it's like called the witch cannon or something and it's so cute there's literally nobody in here so i thought it was a perfect time to record a video because like no one's in here look how pretty this is this is beautiful over here we have like a little lake and such and then on this little end over here this rock there is another crystal thing you got you can mine i wonder if there's anything behind here i kind of want to go check oh my gosh this kind of looks like a little secret tunnel Whoa. oh my gosh look at that I've actually never been back here, so this is pretty cool. Is there a way to go up somewhere? I don't think so. That would be cool if they put like a little secret tunnel or something around here. This is so pretty. 
Wow, that is gorgeous. But yeah, just like the pickaxe, um, the better cannons you get, the more goals you can catch and more coins you can get. So this one is the second one up from the default one. So for this one, it's like two extra coins. And then the next one is like the pumpkin cannon, which is four coins. And I believe the last one is like six extra like soul coins. So yeah, that is pretty much some of the updates that they did like a little mini update i guess you can say as well but yeah that is going to be pretty much it for mining like you it's pretty simple you mine crystals you can get better pickaxes um the better pickaxes you have the more crystals you can get and you can sell those for more souls and honestly guys in my opinion i feel like this is the fastest way to make a lot of souls at once whereas if you're like ghost hunting you have to run around the map and try to find goals whereas for here you just go up to crystals and mine them and i think that this is the most effective way to make the most souls if you're trying to save up and get all of your halloween pets before the update ends because that's kind of what i'm doing right now too as well um but yeah that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know down below what other type of videos you want to see in overlook bay because i really want to film more overlook bay videos i find them so exciting and it's just super fun also a lot of you guys requested me to do more overlook bay videos on my little poll thing so yeah um look forward to more overlook bay content because i'm going to be posting a lot of it coming your way so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys